Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Sean Hodgins and welcome back to my channel. So I've started the assembly of the Pixel Pixels and if you don't know what that is, check out this video up here if you're new to this channel. It's pretty cool, you might like it. Anyways, part of the assembly is getting all of the LEDs soldered onto the LED boards and there's 256 of them per board. So I'm actually having my friend over at Robotours uh, use their pick-and-place machine to do that part of the assembly and because I want them to be able to test them I'm going to design a little test jig that will be 3d printed with a custom circuit board so that they can just quickly Attach them to this test jig make sure all the LEDs are working and then move on to the next panel So this will show you how to build something like that. I'm going to use pogo pins circuit boards the usual well Yeah, not usual, but it should be fun. Let's do it Okay, so the basic idea to this is that I'm going to align this into the corner of something. So design something that goes into the corner like this and then touches these four pads because there's power, ground, and the two data lines needed to control every one of these LEDs. So while that's 3D printing, I actually had a circuit board made and it is here now. That will fit into the 3D print. And then we got four pogo pins that we'll solder in here. So I got to solder this together now. Then we'll go and get the 3D print. Okay, now I've just got to connect it to a pixel pixel acting like the screen. This one's a little bit modified so that it'll send power to this because normally it doesn't. Power it on. We've got power. And then you can just press the screen on like this. Hopefully it'll work. Actually, I need to solder on some LEDs onto one of these because I don't have a board populated with LEDs here. Do that real quick. We got them soldered on. I only soldered 16 because I don't like to torture myself. And now I've got a program running on here that'll just alternate colors. So I'll just go like that. Test the panel and it works. So he'll be able to just grab the panels test them out, make sure all the LEDs work, take them off, grab another one, just keep doing that using this rig here. Awesome. Okay, so if you wanna follow along in this project, the Kickstarter is already over, so you can't buy one, but you can still build your own because all the files are open source for the Pixel Pixel. You don't really need to make the tester unless you're gonna, planning on building like 100 of them, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool project, and if you want to check out Robotours, there's a link below. They make some cool open source robotics and other interesting things that I think the people who follow me would also like, so go check them out. Everyone, this is a quick little project just to show you how to build that and how to use pogo pins because I haven't actually used them for a project before, and they work really well. Anyways, everyone, you know the deal. Be good. Have a good day.